guys, Stag here. So this is my new series. I had talked about it, and you may have noticed some of them have been released in Etsy and Facebook and whatnot. As of right now, I have the first three of the series done. I'm just getting around to creating this video. So, the premise of this uh, series in general was to focus on eyes, originally. I had been doing some work on them randomly during my days, just thinking about how to paint better eyes. At some point in my art, I got away from doing the whites in the eyes, which to me, whenever I put whites in, they almost look shocked or surprised or something. I just didn't like it. But at the same time, the eyes became less expressive. So I decided to add the whites back in, and so a lot of the eyes I've been doing are kind of inspired off of, I collect ball joint dolls, so they have these amazing glass eyes. Sometimes the pupils aren't the colors they should be, or just things that are interesting. Sometimes they just throw glitter in there, like I want to just experiment with eyes. But this, uh series, as I was progressing even through just the one painting and then going on to the next one, it became more about color, period. Just focusing on color, maybe working that in the flesh tones, because I, I used to do that a lot with the fairy paintings, so it just kind of became that. So on top of practicing these other elements, there was a third thing I kind of realized partway through this painting. Hair. I feel like, like, there's some paintings I have done where the hair just turns out beautiful. But I never really thought about how I'd paint it from the beginning. And sometimes I feel like hair is overworked for me or underworked in this series. Now I am focusing on hair as well. I decided to go with a dark background because I wanted these colors against darks. I haven't I haven't even done a dark background like this in probably years. Normally I try to do a lighter tone for some reason. But I decided it's really hard to tell from the image, but it's actually a gray gradient into black at the bottom, because I didn't want to do it just a flat color. It's hard to notice, but I think it gave it a little bit of a more interesting character anyway. But I found myself focusing on his hair, and I do a lot of flyaways in my paintings, which you've probably noticed by now, but I just went crazy with them for the last three paintings, actually. So I would like to continue the series and just work on different elements, maybe even add some eye patches in, because eye patches. But all the girls will be fairies, various different fairy girls anyways, which I haven't really painted in a long time. Like I used to do a ton of girls with little wings and horns, which my fairies almost always had horns of some sort. So, you can catch the progress of this series um, on Twitch, which I stream to, or subscribe to the other social medias, and I'll post images on occasion as I'm working on it. I plan on getting enough of these critters around so I can do an art book. It'd be kind of cool to see beginning to end of the series progression, and maybe even what happens to change in my style. But if you like what you see, do subscribe. Um, I'm going to shut up here now, thank you guys for watching, and hope you enjoy, comment, you know, let me know what you think, and I will catch you guys next time.